Hey everybody, today's video is very interesting. If you want to know which environmental toxin has been able to turn male frogs into females that were able to reproduce and produce viable eggs, stay tuned. I'm talking about atrazine. Atrazine is the second most used herbicide in the U.S. after Roundup. Roundup is the brand name. Glyphosate is the active ingredient. Atrazine was banned in Europe in 2013, but it's still legal to use in, obviously, the USA. It is a potent endocrine disruptor that is active at low ecologically relevant concentrations, and it leads to low testosterone and low birth weight and preterm deliveries. And I found this study, which was shocking, whereby they uh, found that male frogs turned into females when they were exposed to atrazine. And they were produced with other males that weren't exposed to atrazine. <laughs> here it is. This is the abstract. Read this part here, not the highlighted part. 10% of the exposed genetic males developed into functional females that copulated with unexposed males and produced viable eggs. Yes, that's right. It's found in the groundwater, surface water, drinking water. It contaminates all that kind of water, which eventually makes its way to us. And um, what can you do about that? Make sure you filter your water. I'll talk about that in a second. And if you're eating plant foods, which I don't generally recommend, but if you do, then at least make sure they are organic. So look for the USDA organic label. And with regards to filtering your water, any kind of carbon filter is going to work for that. So the uh, the cheap ones, you know, that you can install on your faucets, they have carbon filters in them and that works. However, that's not the ideal one because it, those cannot filter out everything and they cannot filter out fluoride. So what I use and what I recommend is a reverse osmosis system. The one that I use is called AquaTrue. I'll give you my code and everything. It's linked below in the description box. And I, actually every YouTube video that I have, I put the link. Now, um, the thing with the reverse osmosis is that it's overfiltrate to the point where even the minerals are gone. And so you might need to go back and add some of the minerals by getting some electrolyte drops. I'll make sure I'll also um, link to a product from Amazon that you can get and just put a few drops in your water that is reverse that has been passed through a reverse osmosis filter so that it you get so that you get the minerals and also it, it tastes better that way. This is what it looks like, the one that I have in my vlog type videos. You can see it. And um, they're running massive sales, like $150 off, I think, right now. And if you use that with my coupon code, you'll get even more sales. So double check that. Again, the links are below. And this is the Carnivore Calorie Bible, which um, you can find also linked below. This is my Instagram if you want to connect. And this is my website, drsarazoldovar.com for my coaching packages. And these are the references. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.